Uh, today we have an awesome question from one of our program members who said, hey Dr. A, um, I've learned from this program the importance of vitamin D3. It sounds really great. I'm concerned though, is there a deal with vitamin D3 toxicity? Could I be taking too much? And what are the consequences of that? So I think it's a great topic, so I wanna cover this in detail. And I have some notes on my computer referencing some of the current research that I wanna make sure we point out. So first off, um, Vitamin D3, um, the, the overall studies show that most people are deficient. When we're stressed, we burn through vitamin D3. Our skin naturally produces vitamin D3 when we get enough sunlight, but a lot of us either work inside, don't get enough uh, time in the sun, or we wear protective sunscreens. And there's a lot of good reasons for all of that stuff, but basically, we're typically not getting enough D3 and we're burning through it with stress. So most people are deficient, and particularly if you live above that 37 degree latitude line where um, essentially it's, it's too high up and your body can't synthesize vitamin D3 past that point based on some of the sunshine dynamics with the position of the earth, et cetera. So this is why it's a really good reason to supplement with D3. And we know that from the research, vitamin D3 does so much more than just helping create strong bones. Yes, it does. Vitamin D3 does help increase calcium absorption in the body. So it does contribute to bone health, but it's also implicated in helping keep our nerves and muscles healthy, our immune system healthy. And in many ways it acts almost like a hormone signaling different things throughout the body. So it's a very, very essential vitamin to make sure we get enough of. That's why we recommend it as a staple supplement inside FitFar 30X. Now there's some reference ranges of vitamin D3 and this is the amount of vitamin D3 that's safe to have in your blood and I'm gonna read these out for you and we'll also put them on the video here um, because I think they're important. So sufficient vitamin D3 levels are 20 to 30 nanograms per milliliter or a different equivalent is 50 to 75 nanomoles per liter. And the reason we have to have both of those up there for sufficient ranges, and we'll put these on the video, um, is that different labs use different reference ranges. So if you were to get your D3 tested, they would either do it in nanograms per milliliter or in nanomoles per liter. But essentially that's sufficient. Um, a safe upper limit is up to 60 nanograms per milliliter or 150 nanomoles per milliliter um, or per liter. And then toxic is above 150 nanograms per milliliter or above 375 nanomoles per liter. Now, that at first glance might not mean too much to you, but this next statement will. There was a big meta-analysis done in 2015 looking at, um, practically speaking, if people take vitamin D3 in X kind of range, how does that affect their blood levels and when do they get into the toxicity range? And what they found is that people supplementing um, with up to 4,000 IUs, so vitamin D3 comes in IUs, um, of vitamin D3 per day, had no problems with toxicity. And that's a fairly high amount of vitamin D3. I mean, a lot of these supplements come in 1,000, 2,000, or 5,000 IU. So 4,000 is a, you know, a good chunk of vitamin D3, um, considering that the RDA of vitamin D3 is much lower, although those guidelines are gonna be updated soon because vitamin D3 is that important. So. With the D3 at, that, at those levels, there was no toxicity found. They did find toxicity when people were taking um, six million IUs over the span of one to three months. So that roughly is equivalent to 40 to 60,000 IUs per day. So some crazy person decided to eat a whole bottle of vitamin D3 per day for three months, and they did experience symptoms of toxicity, and several people have had this. So my point of sharing this is that the recommended intakes around that 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 5,000 IUs per day, not gonna cause a problem. Toxicity can happen, it's very hard. You actually have to go out of your way and consume a massive amount of vitamin D3. There's even some studies showing that if you consume up to 10,000 IUs per day, you still might be safe. So certainly the recommendations in FIFA 30X are so much lower than that that you're gonna be good to go on that. And uh, the research also included it's practically impossible to get vitamin D3 toxicity outside of supplementation. So just from the D3 that's naturally found in foods and the sunlight, it's basically impossible for you to OD on D3. Unless you're taking a supplement, you're taking a ton of it constantly for a long period of time. And listen, the same things can be said about pretty much any other vitamin. I mean, you take too much vitamin C, you're gonna have explosive diarrhea. So all these vitamins, when taking in super physiologic amounts over long periods of time can cause problems. And vitamin D3 in particular, the toxicity symptoms are really not good. So if you were to take that 60,000 IUs um, of vitamin D3, which is almost like a half a bottle or a full bottle of D3 um, every day for one to three months, what will happen is your body's blood calcium levels are gonna increase. It's gonna cause so much calcium absorption that can actually cause problems where your bones might get more brittle because your body freaks out, it has so much blood calcium, it'll start breaking down some of your bones, it'll affect your kidney health, it could affect your heart's ability to contract, a lot of bad things happen. So essentially, 
don't be crazy. <laughs> don't take um, a whole bottle's worth of vitamin D3 and you're overall gonna be fine. And the research shows that vitamin D3 overall is a very, very safe supplement and has a ton of health benefits. That's why we include it as a staple supplement. So you'd have to go out of your way really to you know, go toxic on vitamin D3. And that being said, everyone's body is a little bit different. And vitamin D3 is a very easy test. Your doctor can run a serum vitamin D3 test and we can see um, the levels of your 125 dihydroxy calciferol, which is the vitamin D3 molecule, you can see how much of that is in your blood, and then you can work on improving your ranges, but overall you should be fine with the FitFollow30X recommendations. Hope this helps.